A quantitative chemical analysis is one where the amount of substance present is determined by chemical means. The three classical methods of quantitative chemical analysis are gravimetric analysis, titrometric analysis and volumetry. Volumetry is where the volume of gas evolved or absorbed in a chemical reaction is measured. In the inorganic year 1 semester 1 practical course, one of the experiments you perform will be a gravimetric analysis, while another will be a titrometric analysis. Gravimetric analysis is a method based on the isolation of the desired constituent in a pure product from a sample. The product is usually separated by precipitation. From the weights of sample and precipitate, the percentage of the constituent can then be calculated. The analysis relies on the fact that the product formed is pure, stable and of known formula and that the reaction goes to completion. The analysis should also be performed in duplicate to ensure accurate results. In the experiment you perform, you will be using a gravimetric analysis to determine the nickel content of the hexamine nickel tetrafluoroborate sample you produced in the previous experiment. This will be done by converting the nickel in the sample to nickel dimethylglyoxamate, which will come out of the solution as an insoluble red precipitate. The precipitate will then be filtered, dried and weighed. In a titrometric analysis, the amount of a reagent, that is the titrant, required to complete a chemical reaction with a solution containing the sample, that is the analyte, is determined. To perform a titrometric analysis, a test solution containing an unknown concentration of the analyte is needed. Also required is a standard solution of known concentration that reacts quantitatively with the analyte. Note that the stoichiometry of the reaction between the titrant and the analyte must also be known. Finally, there will need to be some means of determining the endpoint of the reaction. This could be a naturally occurring color change. Alternatives include using an indicator or pH measurements. There are four main types of reaction that are exploited in titrometric analysis. One, acid base or neutralization reactions where free bases are reacted with a standard acid or vice versa. 2. Complex formation reactions, where the reactants combine to form a soluble ion or compound. 3. Redox reactions, which involve the analyte gaining or losing electrons. And 4. Precipitation reactions. The titrometric analysis you perform as part of the inorganic year 1 semester 1 practical course will be of the redox reaction type. This concludes the introduction to classical quantitative chemical analysis.